I'm comprehensively great looking, a natural blonde, and a highly intelligent one. I'm extremely tough, an exceptional journalist, and I hate modesty. I work for Uncharted. It's basically Playboy for scientists. Fewer naked women, fewer cars, more text. We report on excavations in, and expeditions to, the remotest corners of the world. The pay is, to be exact, pretty miserable. But you get adventure on tap, and that's the best bonus you could ask for. Although sometimes they're hairy, even for my taste. My latest trip took me to Indonesia, where local archaeologists had discovered an ancient temple complex in the jungle. Team members were disappearing one after another without trace. Turns out, it was terrorists. They kidnapped me. Then my old friend Max showed up and got me out of there. And here we are. He's off trying to get a whiff of the gang's plans. I'm supposed to inform the Indonesian authorities. Oh, and a volcano has now erupted and half of the island is in flames. I have no idea where Max is now, and I'm not going looking for him in this inferno. Anyway, it's supposed to be the man who goes through flames for the woman, and not the other way around. My task is clear. I have to escape from this island and bring help from the mainland. Damn it. Now let's hightail it out of here. Crap. This inflatable dinghy is missing some uh, inflation. Reminds me of my last relationship. So how am I supposed to get to the mainland now? Locked. Maybe I can get it open some other way. My goodness. Max and his weakness for fancy locking mechanisms. Interesting mechanism. I'm sure that by pushing the switch you can get... Nope. What's that any good for? Nope. 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 Nope.
Nope. Hope all the trouble's been worth it. Boots and socks. A satellite phone would have been nice. A stripped down air pump. Definitely passed its sell-by date as a food source, but that claw might make a useful tool. Shards are lucky. I can't translate this. It's either Indonesian or Malaysian. They're too big for me anyway. I'll cut a piece of rubber out. The volcano's out of control. Whatever it is I'm doing here, let's do it fast. Nah, not interesting in the slightest. I'll just take the one bone. I'll jam the crab claw onto the end. I'll jam the piece of rubber between the claws. You're just a simple thorn bush, aren't you? Please don't talk to me. I don't care what your name is. You're just a simple thorn bush, aren't you? Like roasting marshmallows. You have to know when enough's enough. Melted enough? It was in a considerably better state. For your information, Ignoramus, to filthy damp places, soft rubber sticketh not. Let's clean away this grease and sand. Perfect. Let's get this dinghy back on the high seas.
Now I can get out of here at last. I haven't phoned in for days. My editor will be going loopy. Home at last. First, I'm going to treat myself to a drink. And then I will listen to the 25 messages my charming editor has left for me. <laughs> he sounds a bit miffed because I've only just got back from Indonesia. My excuses had better wait. He's already got a new job lined up for me. Oh, it's an important one by the sounds of it. It could be big for the magazine. I'd better not waste any time. Sure, a girl like me can find a new job really fast, but it still sounds like hassle I don't need. I'd best take the next flight to Berlin. I need to meet up with a Professor Hartman. He heads up a research group at Humboldt University, and our magazine is one of the sponsors of his Africa expedition. It seems that our professor is hot on the trail of some scientific sensation out there. <laughs> How often have I heard that shit? The sensation is usually some frothy bullshit that we can't even use to fill the summer news gap. Anyway, I'm clinging on to this job, which means I'm headed out to Africa with the professor at the next opportunity. I don't know exactly where we're going, so anything could be in store. <laughs> and that is exactly what I love about this damn job. Biological Institute. This is where I'm supposed to meet Professor Hartman. The gate's locked. Yes, can I help you? Hello, my name is Peters. I've got an appointment with Professor Hartman. I'm sorry, but he's no longer in the building. What? But he wanted to meet me here this evening. According to our database, the professor is away on an expedition. He's already set off? But I was supposed to be going with him. Yes, well, not every department of this facility is as efficiently organized as the security department is. Shit. My boss is going to go bananas when he finds out I've missed this shot. What am I supposed to do now? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Do you know exactly when the professor jilted me? Just a second. It looks like it was this morning. Do you know where the professor was headed? Great. Where is she? Uh, Frau Muller has already left for the weekend. She'll be... Have you got her home number? We do. But I couldn't possibly give out private staff details to members of the public. Be patient and come back Monday. Now I'm really in a jam. Could you perhaps pop along to Professor Hartman's office and see if he's left a note for me? If he had left you a note, then it would be here at reception, I'm sure. Does Professor Hartman have a cell number by any chance? Eh, doesn't look like it. We only have his office number here. Could you perhaps imagine letting me into his office for just a mo? If you'd like to know precisely, no, not my wildest dream. But I wish you a refreshing, stress-free weekend. Same to you. With bells on. Looks like I'm gonna have to help myself. No gates stopped me before. I need to get into the professor's office to find out where he's gone. If I mess up this assignment, then that's my job out the window. A small rolled up carpet. The first accessory for my sailboat. Now let's see what's in it. I always keep this photo on me. It's supposed to remind me what I'm grafting for every day. Fulfilling my childhood dream of owning a pretty little white sailboat. Full to the brim with cartons and newspapers. Bio waste. Certainly the right color. Wow, that stings. There's a notice from garbage collection stuck on the letterbox. According to this, the BSR collects the waste paper first. Then another truck comes for the bio-waste. The bulky stuff goes tomorrow. The 
waste paper collections been and gone. The curbstone is full of chalk marks. Kids? No idea if this is relevant at all. An intercom. It says doorman next to the button. Well, okay, but just this once. Where is it supposed to go? Well, okay, but just this once. Sounds like a good plan. If I throw the carpet over the metal spikes, I could climb over easily enough. But then I'd be in full view of the security camera and the doorman would spot me. I need to find a better way. made it. Now I somehow have to get into the Institute and find Professor Hartman's office. A poorly coiled hose. Damn. The clamp is solid. I can't get the hose off. That's what comes from leaving your tools lying around. Freedom for garden hoses. The perfect entry assistant. Whoever said size doesn't matter was covering something up. This ladder, in particular, is way too short. The sign is fastened to the tree with four screws. Nothing's gonna happen without some tools. I'll push the rake through the rungs of both of the ladder's legs. I'll tie the rake to the garden hose so that the whole thing becomes a bit more steady. That is a sturdy ladder. Well done, Sam. I think it works pretty well right there. I think it works pretty well right there. Climbing through windows. A real cat burglar me. In luck, the coast is clear. You only live once. I'll take a bag of crackers. My snack and one cent change. Won't open. Won't open. This old trick might actually work. Or then again, maybe not. 
The idea's right, but the plastic money didn't take the strain. the tree with four screws. Nothing's gonna happen without some tools. The one cent coin is thin enough to unscrew it. Amaze balls. Ugh, I have sunk to a new low. That'll work. I'll bet my sailboat on it. Phew. Okay, Sam. Find the damn info on where our perfidious professor's gone off to. And then maybe, just maybe, you'll get your story, a pay rise, and that nice little sailboat you're dreaming of. A stack of homework, botany books, and writing materials. Thanks, but I don't think that they're gonna help me right now. Hmm, there's some torn up paper on the top. I'll take a closer look. A ripped up fax. Now let's see if I can put this back together. expedition party sent him a fax. They've discovered some hitherto unknown species. Great, but where, for heaven's sake? Unfortunately, there's only a code here. GHN7531. But maybe that'll help me further. This file is marked GHN7520 to GHN7535. It ought to contain notes from the current expedition. Bingo. GHN7531. The expedition has gone to Ghana, to Lake Basomtui. So what the hell are they looking for there? Lake Basomtui lies in the meteorite crater in Ghana's Ashanti region. It's eight kilometers in diameter, about 80 meters deep, and doesn't have an outflow. The ecosystem and the lake are endemic, meaning there are lots of plant and animal varieties that are unique to that location. The priority is investigating the effects on the ecosystem of a massive meteorite strike. Hmm, what's that on the facts? The expedition has discovered some previously unknown organism. 
If the story is big enough to pull the professor away with such short notice, perhaps it's big enough to buy me a boat. Let's hit the trail for Ghana and Lake Basumtwi. The flight to Accra via Amsterdam was pretty fuss-free, but the in-flight food was crappy, as expected. I was able to revive myself with some traditional foo-foo and a few Gordon Sparks in a chop shop before a bush pilot flew me into an airfield by Lake Basomtui. With a bit of luck, I'll be at the base camp in a few hours.